Well, welcome to another episode of Truth. We're at the Sanford Orlando Kennel Club. Kennels. Has anybody noticed that Pam Bondi looks like that Goonies character? Sloth? They're so curious, they want to know what you're doing all the time. <laughs> Hi. You all want me to come in there and play with you, don't you? You do. You whip it. Whip it. <laughs> Kathy's going to bring a couple dogs down to the sprint path. There they go. Jeez. They just know to run? They like to run. The one's trying to mess with the other one. Well, <laughs> hello. You guys are so fast. Look at Assassin? Love the name. Uh oh. Get him. One dog's trying to run, and the other dog is doing nothing but messing with the other dog. Hello. Get Man, they take off like a bullet. On. Get they get this muscle definition um, just like um, any other athlete. They eat the most nutritious food and uh, exercise. You don't develop a body like this by sitting in a crate 23 hours a day, no matter what those activist people tell you. <laughs> Hear them in the truck? <laughs> so yeah, lots of people ask me where you got those and they're hard to find, I guess. We've got similar ones down at Bass Pro Shops and we're gonna check Cabela's when we go mm. out there. I mean, I could hear that thing when you yeah. shook it to the truck way way over there and the moment they heard it they tore off after it. Wounded animal. Yeah. Easy prey. Instinct. Instinct. Yeah. Wounded animal. Uh, the ban on Greyhound racing goes on the ballot in November. You people got the wool pulled over your eyes. If you vote for that you're going to be voting in casinos. You're converting every dog track into a casino. They don't tell you that. I know I'm only one person uh, with a Facebook page. But I'm just trying to educate as many people as I can that you've been fed a big lie. Yeah. You let them out to the turnout. Does it, uh, they socialize for a minute and half of them lay down. Yeah, pretty much. Greyhounds sleep almost all the time, almost constantly. And then they'll eat, and then they'll go back out and they'll yeah. lay down again. Well, yeah. What I was trying to tell people is they, uh, you guys turn them out what four or five times a day yeah. for an hour or whatever. And not to mention all the other activity like going to turn out or going to the track and doing all this other stuff. Yeah, they're, they, they, they're I mean, they're, they're out of the they're out of the crate so much that it yeah. disturbs their sleep. I'm gonna crawl in here. Oh. These guys are getting uh, loaded up, and uh, they're gonna drive them over to the track. Hi, baby. What's happening? So there's a reporter coming. I, I, I think he's a USA Today reporter. I've spent six months driving around uh, the state of Florida visiting tracks and kennels and seen hundreds and hundreds, thousands of dogs. You cannot find an abused greyhound in the racing industry. It's just a lie put out there by activist groups. They get you to hit the donate button, they make millions of dollars. That's what I've discovered. Or what's the difference between a dog that sits home alone all day while someone's at work? These dogs are um, never alone during the daytime. There's a reason these greyhounds are the most socialized dog breed. It has everything to do with uh, their their upbringing and their training. So these dogs basically eat a high protein diet. Yeah, I'm snacking the races for the Okay, so the dogs that race get a little bit of a snack kind of a thing, like yep. an energy boost. That's all they get right there? Yep. That looks like a lot though. They get fed after they run. And they get fed after they run? That now they eat a high protein diet. Yeah. Uh, they're getting what? What's that? A vitamin? Yeah. These dogs get a vitamin every time they eat. Like when people get up in the morning, pop a vitamin. Yeah. How many people at home are giving their dogs vitamins every day? Not too many. No. How often do you guys uh, do the deworming on the dogs? Uh, once every three weeks. Every three weeks? Yeah. I wonder how many pets out there haven't been dewormed in months, if not years. There's a track over there. You can see it from the kennels. 